That's a good question. Um, I think it's just a lot of young talent in the league. Uh, you know, I think it's interesting just because, you know, guys like LeBron, uh, KD, Kawhi, Steph, you know, they're all still elite. And so you got kind of just like, I feel like it's three different divisions. But um, I would say Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Ant Edwards, uh, those are some of the first couple names come to mind. Uh, and who else, man? Of course. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other guys. I think Wimbyama, you know, he's going to be there. Franz definitely going to be there. Uh, it's a lot of guys, man. Like, it's just a ton of young talent. Um, but like I said, like, these older guys are, are still elite. So it's like you got to compete, man. You got to go after them to, in order to catch up. But, um, you know, our time's going to come eventually. Paula, what's the hardest thing about being the number one option on a night in, night basis? Man, it's just, uh, I think, just the, you know, amount of, you know, amount of attention you get on a night-to-night -night basis is tough. You know, different teams guard you different ways. Um, and then just you got to be consistent. Uh, if you're going to be the number one option, you got to be consistent. Your team, your, your coaches got to be able to count on you every night. And uh, I think that's something that I've really improved on this year, just being consistent night in, night out. Um, but, yeah, just the different coverages, man, like doubles, triples, you know, blitzes, um, best defender. You know, I'm getting the best matchup every night. And, uh, you know, I take pride in it, though. I, I, I think of it as a sign of respect. You know, I love going out there and seeing who guarded me. You know, I love – that's always my favorite part of the game. As soon as the ball tip, seeing who lined up in front of you, that's, that's always the favorite, my favorite part of the game. Oh, that's a good hey, that's a good question. Uh, probably some either a Caribbean island or back home in Seattle. One of the two. I'd have to decide. Paolo, I was just recently talking with Jamal Crawford a little bit about, you know, he's super proud of you and just about Seattle and all roots and everything. Talk a little bit about crossover, how he's been kind of a mentor of you and then just that Seattle basketball scene, how much it means to you. Yeah, no, it means everything to me. I was brought up in it, raised in it. Um, you know, Jamal knew me and my mom through basketball. Him and my mom knew each other just from back in the day, my mom being a hooper in Seattle and him coming up. You know, he looked at her as a big sister. So, you know, when I was like 14, 15 is when he first, you know, came to me, came, uh, started getting in the gym with me, started taking me to runs, um, and really just took me under his wing. And, uh, man, we spent we spent a lot of days together in the gym, bro. Like, he would come pick me up, take me to the gym. We'd go get something to eat, like, just super cool. You know, I'm really cool with his, with his son, J.J., um, and I mean, he's, he's watched me grow, like I said, from 14, 15, all the way to now. So, you know, I've been playing in this program since I was 15 years old. So it's, uh, it's crazy. You said WWE tag team? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know, man. I'd probably go with, with Bam. I feel like Bam, Bam would be a good WWE wrestler. He got the name, uh, got the. I feel like he got the physique and the, you know, six nine, six ten, look like a like like Undertaker or something. We'd be like Undertaker and Kane. Paolo, what is your favorite saying or quote? Favorite saying or quote? I would say, uh, no pressure. That's my favorite saying too. Yeah. Wow. Too much offense. Uh. It's hard to say. I mean, you know, the way we play, you know, we, we guard. So we try and shut down guys who, who are, you know, high-paced offenses and stuff like that. I think it, uh, it all depends on personnel, really. You know, I think guys try and defend every night. I just think the offense and the shooting is at a, just a, a level it's never been at. So I think it's hard sometimes. But I know, I know us. I know a couple other teams definitely, you know, take pride in playing defense. Can somebody get on Best player in the league? I got to go between uh, Jokic. I mean, MB just got hurt, um, but I think I think Luca, I think Luca's in that conversation. Ah, uh, a hundred? I'm gonna say no. I don't think any. I don't think no one can score a hundred. I think seventy is. I've seen seventy. Uh, that's ridiculous as it is, but I don't think anyone's getting a hundred. Yesterday, Nick got a crazy Really? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I if I said I didn't, you know. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Shoot, I still went number one, rookie of the year, so I can't complain too much. 
But, uh, you know, just as a competitor, as a player, you do always feel slighted in a way sometimes. Um, but, you know, I don't let it get to my head too much. I try and just go out there and put on a show every night. A rule? Uh, I, I can't think of one that I, I have out the top of my head. Are you talking about to help defense? Anything? Oh. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. I would, I would say maybe... Maybe the scheduling with the games and, you know, how much we're traveling and back-to-backs and stuff, maybe maybe try and, you know, make it a little easier. Uh, go-to song? It changes. It changes probably weekly, but right now, man, i really been listening to, like, some old Lil Wayne, man. Yeah. Uh, the Mob. No, I didn't. Nah. Yeah. First time I met JT was uh, was actually in Boston. We played Boston College and when I was at Duke. He came to the game, watched the game, then came in the locker room, uh, said what's up. That was my first time meeting him. And then uh, really, but he had reached out before that, but first time meeting him was then. And since then, bro, he's just been a guy who could, you know, I could always reach out to for any advice, uh, you know, off the court, on the court. And uh, now we, you know, we play against each other and we're in the league together. So. Uh, he's a guy who I watched, you know, since I was a, uh, you know, middle school, high schooler. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, um, that Texas Tech game was definitely a top three moment. Um, but I think my first game against Kentucky at MSG, um, that was my first time like ever playing on ESPN, my first college game. Uh, I remember the game was like super late. It was like a 9.30 tip. And I, was, I wanted to take a nap at like whatever, it's 5 p.m., 6 p.m. And I remember just laying down. I just laid there for like an hour. I couldn't go to sleep because I was just so riled up, ready for this game. And uh, I remember running out on the court like it was yesterday and just looking around in awe of just the, the, the scene. So. Um, came out there and put on a show and got the win for Coach K. So that was one of my favorite moments. It's been good. You know, it's really cold here. But other than that, you know, I've been enjoying it. Uh, just making, you know, making memories is what I'm trying to do, man. They, they say you don't forget your first All-Star. So I'm trying to just have fun, take it all in, and enjoy it. Ooh, I can't. Come on, I can't go against my Blue Devils. I think we got it this year. Does Cole look better with or without his legs? Cole Anthony? <laughs> Man, I think, I think he I'm, – I'm glad he restarted, you know. Uh, he was growing his hair out for six years. So, you know, eventually you got to cut it off, right? I've been saying I might cut mine off here and there. You never know. Uh, but, you know, he, go, he says he's going to grow it back again. So, uh, you know, I'm proud of him on his hair journey, man. I think he's doing well. I can't give that away, man. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I just love playing against great players, and that dude is a, a one-of-one one type of player. 7'5", uh, does everything. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate him saying that, man. It, it uh, real recognized real for sure. Uh, just the sheer size, I would say, and just his ability to move as well as he does. Uh, you know, playing him the first time, I really didn't want to go in there and shoot no layups. So, uh, you know, over the years, I'm going to have to find some ways to, you know, maneuver and get around. Ooh, that's a good question. Best team. Uh, I'd probably say the Celtics. Yeah. What's that? What song would I use for my own hoop, hoop mixtape? I'd probably say, uh, damn. Damn, that's a good question. I, I'm stumped on that one. The best part of being in Manila was probably just being around the guys. Uh, I got a cousin out there as well who lives there, Chris, so I got to see him, which was, uh, you know, I hadn't seen him in a, in a long time. But uh, other than that, it was good. The people there are very nice, too. Oh,
with that, what did Chris say and uh, I know the uh, high school uh, player back there, Paolo Malonzo, said about you being an All-Star? Uh, he just texted me congratulations, told me how proud he was, and uh, just told me to keep working. You know, he always checks in, uh, you know, over the months, and, you know, he just sent me congratulations. You got to go? Okay.